What's up guys, this is Sean Dunn and today we are in Elmina Valley, city of Elmina. Guys, city of Elmina has always been shouting their main central park, right? As their main masterpiece and their residence, stuff, right? 4 to 5 o'clock, now it's like 11, that's why nobody is actually jogging. Uh. But the objective is to actually see how the project is doing. Now, if you look at the occupancy rate, a lot of cars actually. Use. So now, I'm going to experience first the main reason why people would invest in Elmina Valley is because of this accessibility to the park. Anyway, this is Elaine. So for their concept of landscape treatments, right, it's even extend to the to the very gate of this gate, you see. They put in some shrubs and actually creepers to actually hang on the gate. When you have public parks, the main concern is this security. What if I get robbed in the park, right? So I think there's a Balai Police, centralized Balai Police, which is a uh, 10 minutes walk. Then uh, it's always patrolling. There will be always security guards patrolling. And every time when I listen or I hear to salespeople talk about they have landscape, right? They have public parks and things like that. The maintenance fees, holy shit, they're a little bit. Okay, a lot of uh, maintenance fees will be incurred. For example, like this Park City, uh, Eco World Products, right? All also will have maintenance costs. But the bonus with this, right? Actually, you don't need to pay maintenance fees because it's actually maintained by the developer itself. Of course, like, it, it helps them sell their products. Ma. For your information, also, City of Elmina behind right, is actually a forest reserve. So, a lot of the tree species is actually adapted from those as they work with NGOs. And a, a very different approach to encourage people to go green by providing plots of land for them to do plantation. So every plot belongs to an owner. And this plot belongs to an owner, this one another owner. The developer indirectly is telling that this place is very suitable for families. And this would be an ideal activity between the parents and the children, right? Mommy, what's this? What's this? Healthy living is also encouraged. You can go to the park, go and touch. No, this is Sarai. Green jaw leh. Then this is Kado. This is Ulam Raja. Ubi Klede. Ubi Klede. These are Jagums. You got chili. Then let me show you guys the area where people can do their own compost. What's compost anyway? Uh, you put in all the organic compounds like dead leaves or all the weeds or whatever and then you pile them up uh. and then it will go through a chemical process and it will produce fertilizers. So it's all organic. Ta-da! <laughs> the concept is also to promote edible and vegetables that you don't plant like bunga raya where you cannot eat one. Right? It's all vegetables and uh, herbs. So when you plant and you eat your own harvest also quite fun. Right? What I think about this is actually it's very innovative, it's very low maintenance, it's not very difficult to make but it provides that sentimental value which is actually encouraging families to be together, <clears throat> to connect more with nature and I think the developer has done a solid job with this initiative lah. because like suddenly if I now hang out here for another two more hours I'll be the plants expert really. Yeah. Hey guys, now we are in uh, Elmina Valley for EV4. So how they label their faces, right? It's EV1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is coming very, very soon. What I noticed is this, the relevance of pricing is actually related to the proximity to the forest reserve. So there's a huge forest reserve. If you look into their map that they prepare, right? It's actually the, the closer to the Hutan Simpanan, the higher the price. Okay guys, we are now in one of the houses in EV4 and it's, un it's being rectified now. So 
non polished. Awesome. Right, so this is the living room. Right, and there's still a worker actually cleaning up the space. So from the door, actually, you come in, you can already see back already. So it's actually very open. Okay, so once you come in, there's a staircase here, but they use this to actually provide some partition. But straight away, you can see the living, dining, kitchen, backdrop. What's good is also there's a room here. So this can be your bedroom and this room has their own private courtyard behind. Right from the room downstairs, you have your own private space like this. So there's still some space for green. And uh, show away this is the back alley already. Coming out from the ground floor room, then you have the kitchen. Because it's 2275, so it's rather wide. So this would be your kitchen space. This can be your L shape, right? Then your fridge can be here. This would be your fridge and things like that. This is the toilet that they are very proud of because you have the slope. It's wheelchair friendly. So it's so wide, right? This toilet is seriously wide. And then like from the room, you can wheelchair in, wheelchair out, no worries. Very clever sliding door and a lot of people don't appreciate sliding door as per manufacturers because they don't know the cost actually to do this kind of sliding door, right? There's more space and not more things to do about the wall, inside the wall, to actually store this door, right? So this mechanism actually costs way more and it's way more difficult to construct instead of a swing door. Swing door is those that you open straight. So this is the maid's room. And it's not too cruel where they still have their own window, lah. okay? Not bad. Lah. Then straight away, you have your yard. Another thing to comment, which is very good, is also they have this kind of outdoor protection for all the sockets. Lah. Okay? Uh, again, it's not very costly, but it's the effort and the intent that counts. Then this is the socket water, right? So the washing machine can be here because the water outlet is here, okay? And it's all prepared already, you see? It's prepared for occupants. Moving upstairs, you have a living room and check out the ceiling height. Ooh, it's so high. This is the master bedroom, okay? Uh, engineered laminated flooring, timber flooring. You look at the wall, right? It's only so big. But almost 90% of the wall is actually windows. So that gives maximum daylight into the space which enhances the quality of the space. And this is the master bathroom. The shower area, WC, huge basin. So I think this toilet, right, becomes like, why is it wider? It's because of the sliding door actually. I think with the sliding door, you actually save a lot of space because you actually when you swing right, then this space is almost as good as, as good as dead. But with the swing door, then it makes a lot of sense. And check out the view. You can actually enjoy the looks for all the this open glass in my video. Also, a good thing is that you look at this. Uh, this is the roof for the car porch below right number one is made of steel that's why it's actually very thin and then they actually furnish up this layer because a lot of developers right they just chin chai they just leave it bare and then what will happen is when rain then they accumulate water and things like that okay first we go into the first room again one thing to point out there's a lot of electrical points most of the time, a lot of people do not ask this. They only ask about the price. Let's say, how much is the price? Ah, 500,000. Oh, okay, no, I buy. But they don't actually uh, put in effort in knowing what's the, what's the quantity of points. Lah. So it's like buying a car, you know the spec. House, you need to know the spec as well. Then, if you look into the door frame, there's a groove. Groove lines are very interesting to look at, but they accumulate dust. Lah. Moving on to the next room, similar, very similar because, and I like it, it's because every room has their own toilet, yay! A 
okay, why they got door one? Yeah, it's actually for you to assess your tanki. So it's also taken into consideration during design stage. As I don't usually see this, uh, these are points, water inlet and outlet for your water, external water filter. Okay, so if you also notice, right, oh, they don't share the same car porch all around. So they actually break up the facade. So the building actually looks better, right, if you look at this. And now if you look at what are the cars doing, uh, they go over. So it's all using cow de sac. So cow de sac, good and bad. Cow de sac is very good for securities, uh, meaning the residents or the users of that road will only be the residents of that road. Lah. But then if it's not, then when people find for your house, then they end up lost, then they keep U-turning. However, in Malaysia, it will end up as a car park space. One, okay, as we talk about landed properties, a lot of people are not aware of the M&E services for a township or a taman or so. So there's this thing called the feeder pillar, which actually looks the TMB. La. Okay, the TMB stations that is actually called feeder pillar. It's supposed to be easy to find by TMB to maintain, but then it becomes the eye saw for the residents. So what? The developer did is the commitment to the architectural languages. Look at the materials they use: the van blocks, bricks, steel. Right? I'm speechless. Actually, even they they don't have to, but they actually do it, and these are extra costs to the development itself. So this provides that aesthetic value because when you drive in a certain angle, right, you don't actually see it. On. So it's just another van block like this, lah. Right? Not only that, it, that's the TMB's main substation. You see, you look there, right? Even the substation uses the van blocks that is applied to all the houses here in Elmina Valley. <sighs> I think that's all for the review. It's now time for Sean take three on three. Three things, number one will actually be the finishes that they provide at SMW lah, because if you look into their sales gallery, right, not many sales gallery has a section to actually explain the specs or the materials or the pipes uh, or the wire that they provide to users. Uh, but actually, this developer do. So they have that section. And if you look into the house, that's the second point. Uh, thoughtfulness of the design. If you look into their house, like the water heater point or very probably Play. Even the points, the location of every socket, so extra plug points, extra sockets. Many may say, ah, yeah, how much only one socket, right? But if you get somebody to do it, you need to hack the trouble, the hassle behind. Number three would be the surrounding environment of this entire Almina. Although it can be a distance away from the city, but then it's close to na the natural resources, which is the Putan Simpanan. EV 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The more there is, it's actually going closer to the Hutan Simpanan and the occupancy rate is actually very high, meaning people are already moving in to leave. This one, EV4, when they launch, is around 700 over, almost 800 ish, lah, right? Then, depending on corner or intermediate. Lah. So, I think when EV5 comes up, it's going to be very, very interesting. And if you look into their launching strategy, Elmina Valley. Then you have Almina Garden, which is slightly a bit more prestige. Then they have Almina Green, which is a, a little bit more competitive in price. Three things I don't like. Number one is actually the noise pollution from the aeroplanes. Lah. Number two, distance away from the city. As we mentioned, the journey from Shah Alam over here, right? Shah Alam, then Tanai Alam, then Bukit Jalutong, then it feels like as if you are... Last of all, there's no commercial centers. So I came here early, I had no place to find for food. I need to drive a distance away, which is go back to Subang Bestari. So I think that's all. In conclusion, what do I think? Do I like it? Yes, I like it definitely. And after having a deeper conversation with the marketing team, right? One entire keyword to sum up all Elmina project, right? Is actually thoughtfulness. I really like the thoughtfulness of every facade treatment, right? Every point, every material use and things like that. So that's why the, this resulted in the uh, very good response from all the faces. Lah. So I think well done team, well done. So until next time, this is Sean Tan. 
Ciao.